RoboForce is a leading innovator in the world of advanced robotics, building cutting-edge humanoid robots that are designed to enhance productivity as well as safety across multiple industries. And join us now is the founder and CEO of RoboForce, Leo Ma. Leo, welcome. It's great to have you here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Excited to be Let's here. First, of course, and we're excited to have you as well. Let's start first and foremost with a bit of an introduction to RoboForce. And how do you define your mission? What is the company all about? Sure. RoboForce is building the world's most advanced robo labor to take on the things that shouldn't have to be human to do. Think about the things that are um, dirty, dull, and dangerous. So before the technology was not there, and now we've, we believe it's the best timing to, to build an AI robotic system to, to do that. Leo, I love the founders' journeys. I love the stories from people like yourself. How did your own personal background best prepare you to lead this stage of growth for the company? Well, my previous years has been very much focused. Uh, my heart is in building AI robotics uh, for more than 15 years. Um, this is really all I do from uh, Carnegie Mellon. And uh, 11 years ago, I, I was an architect uh, building self-driving cars. Um, eight years ago, I uh, joined a startup and two years ago, I started RoboForce. So it's all about building AI and robotics. What do you say makes RoboForce's approach to robotics and AI unique? from competitors in the space? Well, um, it's really about uh, the perspective to start this and the focus. On one side, um, I, I do share the same vision that uh, there'll be millions and many millions of robots um, in, in our um, society. So a significant portion of that will be mobile labor to take on the things that may be far away from our daily life, but there's uh, essential high value that uh, again, they're, uh, dirty, dull, and dangerous that shouldn't have to be human to do. So that's the angle how we started. Second is uh, since the starting of two years ago, uh, we already built a very powerful AI model and a very capable robot uh, that uh, uh, at RoboForce, we already see the tremendous value it can bring that to, since starting with uh, uh, clean energy, solar, manufacturing, logistic, shipping, data center, and beyond. So, um, and is very precise, is indoor and outdoor, very strong. And the more you use it, the smarter it is. Efficiency is also improving. So we see this is a, a significant mode we're building day by day. Leo, I'm sure you've heard the critics, the voices of concern out there. They say robots will take our jobs. This is all about labor force displacement. How do you respond to those concerns that some have as they look at the ever-shifting landscape of the labor market? Well, that's actually in our mission. So Robotic for Humanity is uh, from the angle of, uh, at RoboForce, we're building AI robotic system to enable business and protect people. So, um, you can see there are two layers of value here. One is the availability of the things that, again, shouldn't have to be human to do. Uh, the second part is adding on the availability about the safety and the risk mitigation. And at the end of the day, provided the, the, the value of the minimal cost of bringing the system using AI and robotics. So we're really building this to enable business that was limited by the labor shortage and also protect people uh, not to have uh, human workers to uh, expose to the condition and expose to work that is uh, potentially uh, risky. That is how do we look at this in, in from day one. Leo, are there particular industries I wonder that you envision that may be first to adopt robots uh, like Titan, which is one that I know is in your uh, so-called workforce? Are there particular industries or sectors you see being at the forefront over others? Well, we are very excited to see uh, what, since we introduced Titan, the RoboForce Titan uh, robot uh, earlier this year, they are the, the target uh, domain that we are planning to go into, and there are customers and a significant opportunity knocking on our own door. So starting with uh, clean energy, uh, solar, ultra-scale solar center uh, as one example, and also significant uh, introduction of a Titan robot to a massive-scale data center and uh, shipping, manufacturing, and mining. So as of today, uh, we have more than 12 countries, uh, customers uh, in line and uh, uh, 
happy to share we have more than 11,000 uh, robot orders that are from our uh, letter of intent. So that is uh, much more than we initial, in, initially planned uh, uh, towards. So it's an exciting time. Are there any tasks that Titan can handle that are personal favorites of yours? Are there, are there special capabilities of the robots that are personal favorites of yours? Yes. So um, this is really about the technical breakthrough, what was not possible at all, and now it is possible. Think about the um, both indoor-outdoor capable uh, air robotic system um, in, the, in the middle of nowhere. Uh, the environment itself is a um, newly opened door for community um, number one. Second is precise and both, uh, both precise and strong. Um, think about a dual arm. Put together, it can lift about 40 uh, kilogram. And with that level of uh, 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 of a strong capability, it actually perform the fine motor skill at the one millimeter and if it's not one millimeter level of uh, precision. So um, pretty much all kinds of uh, robo labor work that you could imagine uh, RoboForce Titan is capable to do. And uh, also equally important is a ever growing learning system. So the model uh, behind it, the power of the brain is getting the new data and then learn uh, from the experience we're using that. There's a very smart and, and, and evolving so it's outdoor, precise, strong, and efficient system. With a, the more you use it, the smarter it is. Yeah. Uh, Leo, before I let you go, give me some sense about what comes next for the company. What does the horizon look like for the team at RoboForce? And, and how large do you think this market can get? We are bringing uh, our robo labor to the application we mentioned. It's all about... Uh, uh, Starting with a list of a robo labor internship, uh, get the return offer and deliver the robot uh, towards the scale. So um, go to market is our single focus now. And we're starting with the internship. Well, congratulations on all the success. Leo Ma is both the founder and the CEO of RoboForce. We are very grateful for his time and perspective laying out the exciting opportunities ahead for RoboForce. Leo, thank you. Thank you very much.